Hey guys, we're going to disassemble this graphics card, this Sapphire Pulse RX570. Here are the tools you'll need. A Phillips Zero screwdriver, some non-conductive thermal paste, paper towels, isopropyl alcohol, and if you want to remove the PCI bracket, a 316 socket or an adjustable wrench will do. First thing I'll show you is how to remove the fans. It is super simple. Just one screw in each of them and you gently pry them off like so. I love this modular design. It's much better than removing the shroud and having to fiddle with fan connectors just to clean or replace these. The next thing we'll do is to remove these four screws and these two little ones to separate the back plate and the shroud from the PCB. We should give this a clean before we make a mess. And then we can separate the shroud. Being very careful of the fan connectors at the end here. Just pull them out and it all comes off. To separate the heatsink from the PCB, you have these seven screws. The spring-loaded ones, I recommend you loosen them evenly. It takes a bit of force, but it should come off like so. And finally, removing the PCI bracket involves these 316 studs, two Phillips, and another one in here. Let's remove all thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol and have a look at the card. This may need a bit of work if your thermal paste is old and hardened. For several years now, this GPU and the older RX 470 are solid choices for budget 1080p gaming, especially compared to Nvidia's offerings. And Sapphire designed and built this 570 very well. It's one of my happiest purchases ever. If you want to replace the thermal pads, there's a Reddit thread with official dimensions. It's just that 0.75mm ones are difficult to find. The ones on mine have already been replaced with 1mm ones, and it's been fine. A tip for reinstalling the heatsink is to lay it at the edge of your table, so that you can place the PCB flat onto it. Make sure to tighten the spring-loaded screws evenly. And also to put thermal paste on your VRM heatsink. Otherwise, reassembly is fairly straightforward. And the last thing you should do is stress test your graphics card. Make sure things are in order, especially temperatures. And so that's the Sapphire RX 570 Pulse disassembly. Hope this has been helpful and see you soon.